going on, Jerome's? So one of the players that has greatly benefited the most uh, from Brian Flores coming in and flipping the script and changing the game is uh, former 2021 fourth round pick out of Cal Cameron friggin Bynum. The cornerback turned safety is having a bust out season. Frankly, should and could make the Pro Bowl this year and against the Niners and the Vikings most important game of the season to date. Uh, well, first off, he, he, he caused the, the fumble. Christian McCaffrey early on. Then he introduced the world to the worm after his first interception. Then he had a second interception to call a game. Woo, woo. That's right. It, it was beautiful, man. Uh, BZ had a hand in three turnovers and major reason why the Vikings uh, got it done against the Niners, and rightfully so. Th there was no other choice. Uh, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week, uh, led the team in tackles with nine, had the two picks. They didn't even credit him with the forced fumble where he used like the back of his helmet. Is, is fantastic, man. Uh, and that also gives the Vikings back-to-back -back NFC Defensive Player of the Week, Jordan Hicks, uh, last week against the Crooked Chicago Bears. Uh, you know, Ten touchdowns, a pick, as well as a fumble, a scoop and score for six. Uh, so two weeks in a row, Flores the dudes just standing up and standing out and getting after it. And also, uh, you know, respect to Jordan Hicks, respect to Cam Beasy. Uh, it's not the studs, the absolute studs, the household names. It's not Harrison, it's, uh, even though. Harrison also won one too, or should have won one, except for uh, you know freaking Witherspoon, whatever. But Daniel Hunter, whatever. But uh, Cameron Bynum is certainly coming into his own. And we said, I love how he wears his pride for the Philippines on his sleeve. We need to get his wife in the country, by the by the way, man. It's really insane. But uh, Cameron Bynum this year, he's breaking out, man. You love to see it. Sixty nine tackles. Nice leads the team 48 solo also leads the team. Uh, I mean, dude, I mean, open field tackling is the name of the game in the Flores defense. And BZ has been fantastic in that regard. Two interceptions also leads the team uh, two tackles for loss, four passes broken up, which is second on the squad behind Murph. Uh, one forced fumble, a 71.3 quarterback rating when thrown at, which is just pretty good. It's pretty good. So it was an 85.7 PFF grade, uh, which is fourth best in the NFL among safeties. Uh, only safeties ahead of him are Jesse Bates, uh, the third, uh, Javon Hargrave, uh, for former Brian Flores protege in Miami, no big deal, as well as Anton Winfield Jr. Uh, perhaps you've heard of them. Mm. Uh, but what's amazing is Cameron Bynum. We're seeing a star develop before our eyes, and I know the BZ. I mean, fans had some choice words to say about BZ in the first two seasons, uh, but I think it really did take him uh, getting into the Flora scheme in a more aggressive scheme uh, for him to really flourish. And I, I love what he's doing, man. And he continues to grow and show every single week. And I think, like I said, he should be a pro, pro bowler this year. And even though Harrison Smith, this might be his last season in purple, uh, safety positions in very good hands with Cameron Bynum. And Lewisine. And also Josh Metellus. All that stuff, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Cam Beasy Bynum uh, named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week for Week 8. Uh, less week 7. Nailed it. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for uh, Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.